Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Today we're going to be taking a little bit different approach to the in-game in-depth reviews. We're going to review two characters. First off, we're going to review Kara, and then we're going to review Venomate. Um, the reason why we're going to talk about these two together, as everybody knows, is they have synergy together and they work very well together. Um, and I want to tackle both of them at the same time. If you're new to the game and you're watching this video, this video is really designed for you. And the reason why it's designed for you is these two characters are free to play accessible, very free to play accessible. They're not farmable on their nodes particularly well um, at eight, three and eight, nine. I mean, they're very difficult to farm in those areas, but where they are free to play accessible for you as in the guild store for Kara and for Venomate, you can find him in the tower. Um, he's currently not in the tower on my on my test account here. Yes, this is the test account that you are looking at right here, um, DLG test. So keep that in mind when you see stuff like over a billion and all these credits. This is the test account. Um, but then we flip over to my main account. You can see where I have Kara and Venomate, right? I've invested a good bit of into, into Kara because she's an amazing character and then Venomate as well. Um, as you can see, they are free to play accessible and you can get him Venomate out of the tower, um, out of your tower runs. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about Kara. Kara is a demon, a fighter, a ranger, and a bounty hunter. So bounty hunters are very needed for all sorts of things, scrolls and that sort of thing in this game. So she's very, very useful there. Uh, let's take a look at her stats. Now, as you can see here, we have her at gear 11 in the test account. I have her ruined. We'll talk about rune management um, in this video as well. We'll talk about all her skills, um, but let's talk about what her main stats are. You can find her, uh, like I said, you can find her be in the guild store, 400 credits. She shows up roughly, um, you know, 62% of the time. There's maybe a little bit different now um, because you have Diesel Rog in that guild store. Um, and so, but she's there. You can farm her right out of there. Her drop rate on her nodes is about 40%. Once again, her or order 8-3 and clans 8-9. Uh, by the time you get to them, as though, you should have her already unlocked and, and, and that sort of stuff from out of the guild store. Uh, let's talk about her stats. So she is a physical damage um, uh, character. Uh, she does 30. Uh, her main speed, let's talk about her speed first. Uh, her speed is 140, so she's pretty fast character. Uh, her health is, uh, is 21,876. Now, as you can see, these numbers on my screen here are going to be different because I have... I have runes equipped. These are her max level 80, seven stars with all her equipment and the numbers that I'm giving to you now. Um, her health, her shields are 24,230. Uh, her physical damage is 3,065.2. Uh, that makes her fifth highest in physical damage. Uh, be, when, you, when you account for Buff, who's a character who's not yet in the game, who also does physical damage. Um, if you don't count Buff, she's fourth in physical damage. Uh, at this time, her magic, her physical, her magic damage, she doesn't deal magic damage, but it's 917. Her physical damage reduction is uh, 1224. Her magic re damage reduction is 21, um, 57, 69. So she does good against magic wielders um, innately. Her crit chance, her natural crit chance is 26.66%. Her crit damage is the base at 150. Her accuracy is the base of 100. She has a base dodge of 2%. Uh, percent. Her potency, all the way maxed out, is 36%. Her tenacity is 30%. Her penetration is 750. And her lifesteal is 5. But what makes her so good? What makes her so good? She is a tier 1 character in my book. I have labeled her as a tier 1 character. Once again, let's remind you what I believe to be a tier 1 character. Tier 1 characters are characters that don't need anyone else to be exceptional. They can be plugged and played into teams, and she absolutely can. If you are a new character, a mid-level character, a mid-range character, you're going to find her popping up all the time with orcs because she does very, very well with Tromgar. Uh, she has great synergies with them. If we look at her popularity, 
right? You're going to see, see Venomate. Uh, Venomate's, of course, favorite teammates, uh, you know, Tromgar, Revel, uh, and uh, Hard Orc, right? So you're going to always see that. Why is that the case? Well, let's take a look. We're going to look at her basic first, and then we'll get to why she's with Venomate. Um, her basics is arrow, Arrows of Chaos deals 230% physical damage uh, to an enemy and a 50% chance to inflict ability block for two turns. Ability block is huge. It really allows for you to control the battle and control the pace. She has an AOE, a Hail of Arrows, that she can do on her second turn. On her second turn, uh, Usually it's a Th three turn ability because she actually goes invisible on her second turn but deals 240 percent of physical damage to all enemies 30 percent chance to daze the enemies for two turns while dealing when dealing damage so she has to hit and then she has a 30 percent chance to daze them but once again she has an aoe that hits everybody uh, which is really really important in this game to have aoe and then it has a daze uh daze in this game is very very powerful it makes it so people can't be can't can't critical hit they can't counter attack um, and so that's really, really nice. And they can't gain turn meter. Uh, and so that's uh, can't gain t extra turn meter. Um, and so that's really, really nice. Uh, go dark. This is her visibility uh, ability, right? She can go invisible and applies that to all the healers, tacticians, and fighters for two turns. She applies counterattack to all allied tanks for two turns and restores 25% turn meter to all her allies. It's an amazing ability. If Venomate is on the battlefield, he receives haste for two turns absolutely great and this is where you're starting to see some of that venomate synergy he's going to get haste it's going to speed him up and everybody else is going to get 25 percent turn meter anytime you can give turn meter to your uh to your team that's an amazing thing uh, uh the amazing thing to have kara is also when she's invisible this is her sudden attack she deals 30 percent more damage if venomates in the party he receives the same buff so if he's underneath stealth and she's underneath stealth they're both going to do 30 percent more damage that's amazing. And so that's what we're talking about with Kara. Those are her abilities. Um, she's got great synergy with just about anybody she can put in there. She can all the tanks, right? She can put everybody under stealth on her second turn and then gives counterattack to your tanks. And so that's really, really powerful. If we want to talk about how we want to ruin her, uh, I believe the best way to ruin her is through with damage. So let's go ahead and take a look at the runes that I've put on her. Um, we're talking about speed, of course, in the north uh, eastern rune uh, armor, which is kind of what we're stuck with here. Crit damage is probably not the right rune here. You probably either want to go damage or critical chance. I think that that's probably the better way to go. But as of right now, this is what I had on the test account. So I put that on for now. And then uh, potency set. We'll talk about that as well. You, you want at least one potency set because you want to apply that. When you hit that daze, when you get the, make that 30% chance to hit it, you want to make sure you land it. And so you need to have you need to have your potency up. Um, on that. So I, I, I would go potency mods, at least one set of potency mods, a full set of, of damage, and then potency in your northwestern rune space, because that will allow her to be able to land that. Um, when she does land her days, it'll, it'll apply. Um, and so I think that it's really beneficial. If you look and see what I have right now, she has a 70, almost 71% potency on this character. So when she does hit that days, it'll be very, very important. So let's go and talk about Venomate. Uh, let's go this way. Venomate. Venomate, in my opinion, is a tier two character. I've I've said this on before on my gear on my tier list. Venomate's a tier two character. He's free to play. You can get him right out of the tower. But let's go over his stats and why I believe he is a tier two character. His speed, his base speed is to a 129. He is a slower character. His health is 17,967. His shields are 17,212. His physical damage, uh, he doesn't deal physical damage. He's a magic user, uh, but his physical damage is 1,443. His magical damage is 2827.33. He does physical uh, damage reduction at 31. Uh, 3153.33. His magic damage reduction is 1894.78. And his critical hit chance base is 
his critical uh, damage is base, you know, is the base at 150. His accuracy is 200, uh, 100 base. Dodge is 2%. His potency is 15. His tenacity is 35. Um, his penetration is uh, three, uh, three, uh, uh, 375. And his lifesteal is 5. The reason why he ends up being a tier two character is tier two characters, as remember, as we've talked in the past, is that they need someone else to make them exceptional. He's a good character, but on his own, he's not, he's good, but he's not exceptional. When you pair him with Kara, he becomes exceptional and you're going to see that in his kit. So let's go ahead and talk about his kit now. Venomous Spit deals 250% magic damage to an enemy, 80% chance to poison the target for two turns. If Kara is on the battlefield, right, there is a 50% chance to be uh, that she'll be called to assist. Very nice. So she has assist mechanic, but it's, it's only with Kara, so Kara has to be there. If we look at Poison Cloud, deals 230% magic damage to all enemies, poisons the targets for two turns. So now we have a 100% chance to poison the targets, to land the poison. Now we have to do a check between potency and tenacity. So we'll talk about why I believe he need, you need to put potency on him and damage when we get to the runes. But you can see right now, basically anytime you have a character who is applying debuffs, uh, you want to look at the percentage that they're going to apply their debuff, and you always then want to add potency so they actually land the debuff and so it's not resisted. So, very good ability, does magic damage to all people, very, very good. Sounds very similar to Kara so far, right? Except for, you know, he needs he needs Kara in the, to assist. Um, he's got a debuff that'll land all the time as long as he has high potency and their tenacity is not terribly high. And then what's your poison? Apply critical damage, counterattack, crit chance to an ally for two turns, restore 75% of turn meted to that target at ally. That's very, very good. Except for the difference is, is this is one ally, right? We're only targeting one ally in this case. We are restoring 75% of their turn meter. It's very, very nice. Um, it only gives crit damage to that one ally. So we're, we're only giving it to one person instead of an entire group like invisible. So it's, while it's a great ability, it still only targets one. It's kind of situational. You'd be able to use it when you can, but it takes three turns to even get it off uh, and that sort of thing. So kind of keep that in mind. And then we look at Poison Master. Venomate deals 20% more damage for each stack of poison on the, on, on the enemy. If Kara's on the battlefield, she gets the same buff. So when you put these two together, Kara already does a lot of damage, right? And then she does even more damage when she's invisible. You put Venomate and her together, and now they're giving each other more damage based on poison, based on being on st in stealth. It really is amazing. But she, need, you know, he kind of needs her to be on the battlefield to do all the invis. Otherwise, he you have to have a lot of potency on him for this to work. And because of that, uh, because you have to get, you know focus a lot of a uh, lot of potency and that sort of stuff, I put him in the tier two category because he really shines when Kara is on the battlefield with him instead of when he's by himself. So that's where we're at for tier two. Let's go ahead and talk about managing runes. It's basically the exact same thing I said with Kara. Um, and a lot of characters, you're going to find this. I think that ruining characters is actually a ruin. Put runes on characters. It sounded like I said ruining characters. <laughs> it's kind of what it sounded like. Sorry about that. But when you ruin a character, when you ruin a character, right? You want to look to see what they do in their kit, and when they're applying debuffs, I think that it's very important to add potency. You need potency um, in your northwest slot. Here, I don't have it because I don't, I just don't have that available yet. I haven't farmed it, but I, that's my intention is to put potency in this northwest slot. You always want to put speed in your northeast slot, and then you want to talk about you know damage down here or crit chance. Damage is usually probably better. You want to look for good speed secondaries, but of course that's hard to do. Um, and then, you know, pick your poison with the shield and that sort of stuff. Damage is always goes up at the top, but I would do potency over in the Northwest rune. So that is the, your player guide for Venomate and for Kara. They're a great team together. If you are a new player, you should be farming them. Um, farming them as soon as you have your orcs farmed. 
you should be going right over to Kara and right over to Venomate. But start farming them up. You can farm them up at the same time. They're worth putting the the scrolls into. You're, it's they're they're really well done. Uh, this I can show you right now on my main account. This is my account now, level seventy two. I have her maxed out. On the other hand, I do not have Venomate maxed out. Gear eight sixty seven. I do have him starred out, but I do have not put in all his abilities. Uh, primarily because I've been working on other characters, but he's worth putting in if you're new to the game and you really want to know where should I focus some stuff. Kara and Venomate, definitely. You're not gonna you're not gonna miss out um, by fo putting f uh, your focus on these two characters. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those. Uh, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like uh, hit that like thumbs up button as well. Uh, if you did like the video, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.